Hello all and welcome to another video in the Intro to Music series. This series again is a series on um, making sure that we know the fundamentals of music and what it all entails. Um, I'm Cody Wyman again and in this video we talk about the Intro to All Things, the quarter note. Now what I have up here is Finale's setup wizard here. And what we do with this is we go in here, I have all of this set up for a chamber orchestra. And this is Finale by the way. Um, MuseScore has this as well where you actually go in and actually uh, set up an orchestra score or set up a score and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, different types of notes and tell you what they are and what they do. Um, this first note right here is a whole note. Now what this note does is it holds out a tone for four counts. So this is what's called the long tone. What this does is it actually makes this note here, so you can go back, you can press play. It's in 4-4, four, four, so that means there's four counts in a measure, and then the bottom number is the, the number of the note that gets the beat. There's also a thing where you can actually go and do this kind of thing. You can do four, let's see if I could do it in here. Tempo marks, you can do like this. You can actually go in you can actually make a tempo mark like this which is basically four with a quarter note underneath it so if you if I command plus this you could see that this four four equals the same as four with a quarter note underneath it alright so you can do that um, you can also go under time signature Let's say you wanted to put more options. You can go more options. And it has a couple of different abbreviations. But normally it won't give you that four quarter note like you want you want, let's say that's kind of a jazz shorthand. But what you want to do is just going to click OK. This is the same as this. 4-4 four, four equals 4 quarter notes and the quarter note gets the beat. That's basically what that means. If you go, let's change the time signature to 3-4. What does that mean? That means that there are three beats in the measure. Turn, and then I'm going to insert a quarter note. That means that three quarter notes, three is the number of beats in the measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. Same thing if you had two four. Let's do that. Hold on just a second. Let's do this. If you had two four, that would be two beats per measure so I can go back over here and I can give you this 
two with a quarter note. So this would equal two beats per measure and the quarter note gets a beat. So you have your whole note and then the most notes that you can actually do in each measure. Whole note for 4-4 four, four, and dotted half note for 3-4. Okay, And then you've got half note for 2-4. So that is your whole thing for that. If you had one four, you would have a quarter note as the maximum amount of notes. So this is just a breakdown of the intro of note values and seeing how they work and how they, how they operate, the maximum capacity of notes that you can have in each of these measures. You also have what are called rests. Here's an eighth rest, which gets half a beat. A quarter rest gets a whole count, one count. And then let's let's do this. Two counts, you're going to have a whole rest there. Let's, if you go back to 4-4, four, four, then you have another time change, and then you'll go back to this note, is a whole rest. Notice the one rest with the hat-like figures sticking up is the half rest. That's the major, the most rests that could fit in a two-four bar. In four-four, four-four, the rest goes under the fourth line, not over, and that constitutes a whole rest. And that's what all these blank rest measures are, if you could see. And so. 4-4, four, four, you can get 4 rests. You could also get this. Four quarter rests. You can also have a half rest and a half rest. You could also have quarter rest, half rest, quarter. Oops. Quarter rest. There's all of these different combinations of rests and notes that you could put together. And normally you would count this as one, two, three. Four. You would count these as one, two. So they're right next to each other. One, two. three, four, and then you can have, this is one, two, and then three comes right on that half rest and then four. So there's all sorts of these things, all sorts of these combinations that can be taken up.
to equal four counts in four four. Same thing with three four. Same thing with two four. You could have any combination of two beats of rest or notes in two four, three beats of notes of rest in three four. It just depends on what you what you have. So this is the end of part one for notes and values. I will come back with another part, part two. So please stay tuned for that. And please stay tuned for the next video. If you have questions or comments, please hit up the Q&A section. Thanks.